I hope you are all safe and today I want to talk about my gap semester experience I still have like two months left of it But I want to tell everybody to take a gap semester or a gap year if you can afford it First of all, if you take a gap semester, you get to do the things that you want to do for me I uh, got to learn Spanish in an environment that's not stressful. I took Spanish courses and because Spanish courses are general courses and not major courses, they always get pushed back and I always have to cram for it during the midterms and uh, finals because my major classes, I can literally get an F. But my Spanish courses, um, even though I suck, I can still get like a B plus because I'm not that bad at me um, memorizing words. But it always got pushed back and that's no way to learn a good language. Obviously, I started a YouTube channel, which was something that I always wanted to do because I love content creation. And also, I got to read some of the books that I really want to read. Second, create a hobby. I lost all my hobbies during high school. During high school, I was like, study, study, study. Every activity that I did was centered around college applications, which is really unhealthy. I read all kinds of books, but they were all about political science and nothing was about um, anything related to the books that I wanted to read. And I think it's sad if you don't have a hobby. I think because I didn't have a hobby, all I did during my free time was like watch YouTube videos, which helped me create content, but it's not a really good hobby. I think it's really important to um, prevent a burnout. A burnout is like when you are furious, ferociously and furiously doing so many things that you suddenly feel like burnt out, like a very tiny candle or something. And you have like very little energy to do more. So that explanation sucked, so I'm going to explain what a burnout is. According to a site called Very Well Mind, burnout is a reaction to prolonged or chronic job stress and is characterized by three main dimensions, exhaustion, cynicism, and feelings of reduced professional ability. And I think a lot of students experience this. A lot of people are stressed because of grades, what to do in the future, um, financial problems, etc. And yeah, I think a gap semester really prevents a burnout. I also want to point out that a prolonged burnout can have serious mental and physical effects on your body and if you're having a burnout, please relax and try to get some help because I, I don't want anybody to experience a burnout and feel like their health is in danger. And I experience a burnout every single semester. I always spend the entire night studying. It's not because I cram, I'm just very, very anxious. I have work, tutoring. Um, other like club activities that completely drain me and I'm so glad every single time there is a break, a summer break or winter break. But during the summer and winter vacation, I also do the making the money thing and, and all these other kinds of things. And I think a gap semester is like a huge breather and you just really need it if you feel depressed and really tired right now. This is, I think, the most important thing that I realized that I experienced during my gap semester and that's figuring out where your life is headed. When you're just studying, the, you, you choose your courses and then you just take them and you try your best to get good grades. You're really busy and your mind is just completely focused on courses and the stuff that you're currently doing. And, it's, and a lot of the goals that you have set up probably maybe are not long-term goals. They are more um, goals that you have bandwagon on other people's dreams. A lot of friends around me who have like zero interest in finance all want to do something around finance. And I, I almost bandwagon too because it's actually a really good career choice. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that was my dream. And it was really hard to find out what I was good at, what I really wanted to do, how I will be able to do it. And a gap semester is a really good time to plan your big future and think about what you really want to do after graduation. Lastly, I think it's a gap semester is a really good time to see what's going on in the world. I wanted to travel to Spain. I loved learning Spanish. I still, I still am learning Spanish, but I thought that going to Spain would really boost my Spanish level. Obviously, COVID happened. I'm not going to Spain this year. Maybe, maybe in the future. I really do want to go. I there's, I'm, I don't know. There's something very intriguing about Spain and the Latin American area. I would love to travel all of it. But even if you don't 
travel, I think it's important to keep your eyes open to see what's going on in the world through the news, through books. I certainly learned a lot of things that were outside of my field. Interestingly, um, even though I'm a policy major, I didn't know a lot about topics like racism, but I think it's really important to know about systemic racism because it's such a serious problem in all parts of the world and I'm pretty sure that it's a problem in Korea too we just don't talk about it as much there were fields of study that I just did, was not interested in like psychology or um, the natural sciences but I got to learn a lot about them through reading books lastly, save up it's important to save because you don't know what you want to do in the future and for me, grad school is freaking expensive so that's it for today I really hope that I've persuaded you into taking a breather and um, I hope to see you in my next video. Everybody stay safe and bye!